Hey friends, if you've been watching my previous videos, you've seen that I've been playing with the Unify Cloud Key and the Unify Access Point Pro. Both of them are amazing devices. If you haven't seen those videos, I suggest you go check them out to see how they're installed and just kind of get a brief overview of what they are. But I've been missing one critical piece of equipment from my network and I've just kind of been sponging off of the router capabilities of my Apple Airport Extreme. But I'm going to be replacing it today with the Unify Security Gateway. Now this is going to be a much better router and it's going to allow me to see a lot more into my network. So I'm going to see how much data is coming in, how much data is coming out, and see everything that's being accessed. Well, let's go ahead and dive into it to see what it comes with. And then I'm going to go set it up inside of my server room and I'll show you what it looks like inside of my server room. Then I'm going to come back and show you the software side of things so you can kind of get an idea of what it's like to use this. All right, so here's the front of the box. Instructions. Nice cardboard. The actual security gateway. Drywall screws. And then a power cable. Sorry if the picture doesn't look so good right now. I'm in a really dark room. It's really hard to light up. And the one light that is in it is right there. So it's super bright right there. And you can easily tell where it's coming from. But here it is. Here's my switch. Well, not my switch. Excuse me, my gateway. Power cord coming in. Blue light stating that it's on. Got a console port if you want to be able to access it via the command line directly into it and then a reset button got a WAN port this goes straight into your modem or whatever is bringing the internet into your house the LAN 1 port this goes into your switch and into your network so your network can access the internet or that other network and then you've got WAN 2 or LAN 2 this is so if you can combine two different networks into one inside your house or inside of your business wherever that may be so when I was just trying to set it up, I was having a hard time adopting it into my network and part of the problem was is I don't use the standard 192.168.1.1 IP interfaces. I use 10.0.1.1. So I had to go in and manually um, change that in the command line because it had really old firmware and it wasn't setting when I went into the GUI when I logged directly into the switch to set it. So I'm going to post a link to how I did that in the description below. It does work. Got to be a little bit patient and make sure you understand what you're doing with it. But it is fairly easy. And once you do that, Ubiquiti will see it, bring it into your network, and continue on as how it should. It was really slick and really easy once I actually figured out what I needed to do. So I hope this helps. Like I said, that link will be in the description below. It's really good, really easy. So now let's go take a look and see what it shows inside the GUI. So first things first, I want to show you what you see if you do not have the security gateway inside of your network. So if you just have one of the access points and the cloud key, what you're going to see when you log in is a picture of this. But when you do, go ahead and log into your cloud key if you've got one. Mine's this IP address. And when you do, I'm going to choose manage to go to my Unify controller. I'm just going to load up and ask for your username and password. I'm not going to let you guys see this, so just believe me when I say it's there. And then when you log in, this is what you get. Quite a bit different from the picture that I showed you earlier. You get deep packet inspection, you get to see what clients are there, you get your download throughput and latency, and then the same thing for upload. And then you can click on each of these and take a look at what it gives you. So I can see all sorts of stuff. I'm just gonna scroll through this, let you guys get a get kind of a feel for it. And then if you click on one of them, so apple.com, it'll show me what are all the devices that are using it and how much data each device is used when it went to apple.com. And we can hit back, do that same thing for Amazon. So a lot of cool info that you should get with it. I really like the security gateway, pretty awesome. 
But when you're going to add it in, it's going to show up just right here. It's going to show unknown. It will have the default IP address of 192.168.1.1. And then you can go ahead and try and incorporate it. It'll tell you the version of software that's running on it. Anyways, and then you incorporate it. And then as long as your network matches the 192.168, it'll pull it in. If not, you've got to use the procedure that I've got linked down below. Once you set the hard IP address on this on the router to whatever IP range that you need for your network, it'll see it, it'll adopt it, and you can start using it. It's really slick, really easy. Okay, now that you've seen what this thing looks like when it's installed, what it comes with, and what it does for you, is it needed? No, you don't need it if you have another router. If you have another router, you can get by just fine. You can use Unifies or Ubiquity's access points, no problem. You won't ever have a hiccup. They'll work beautifully just plugged into your ancient gateway that you've got already. I would recommend it if you're wanting to set up a completely whole new setup, get rid of old equipment, bring in new, more powerful equipment, or if you're installing this inside of a business, definitely get this. It brings in a lot of capability. It lets you see a lot of stuff that's going on with your network. It's extremely easy to use. And like I said, if you use a different subset of IPs than the standard 192.168, check the link in the description below. That will show you how to do this. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Let me know what you thought about this inside the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And if you want to see more of my stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time, guys.